Alright folks, thanks for joining us again and I hope you guys are doing well. We are live at the Orange Sea Sports Stadium. This is map number two for today being streamed. It is between Sending Gaming and Orange Sea Sports. Now Sending Gaming making it fast. They want to rush through and it looks like Orange will be able to hold for a while. I have to recheck the overlays because I'm getting confused but now our best tries to send inside the bomb set by throw. <coughs> Who the heck is that? I keep reading uh, the Orange name wrongly. They are standing strong into the bomb site while they the terrorists jump up carpets so it doesn't seem like they'll be able to go into the bomb site. I'm gonna try to rotate instead. It looks like Donnie will get the bomb planted. Harry comes in from the side, spots up baller, goes for the spray but doesn't get him down. Nim from behind, Iza is in a good position to get baller off guard. As baller will have to advance to get uh, I'm later back. I'm gonna go for the defuse. Ball is trying to spot him from the right, but it gets second round by Izzat. So it will be first round going in the way of Orange Esports. Well, nicely played from Orange Esports. What a way to start. Uh, they kind of held into the B bomb side. There was three from stand standing gaming, jumping inside, but they kind of held through. I would believe that the frags again. That will be one way Izzat. Izzat catching up, of course, the last frag, and of course, one was inside just to make sure that they couldn't get through. And with that, the uh, Orange Sport will, will open up with the uh, first round of the match. And they're not going to up towards me, but one row sprays out towards short, gets one, it's done to fall. Throws out the net, easy gets taken out. This is very, very good equal round for them. They're not losing much, but Rexar gets taken out. So Terence does get something done for the round, but it does look like ballers all alone and a quick and easy win for Orange Sports. Of course, Orange Sports is on our left. They are playing on the CT side. We have Izad, Aim, Ariel, Wanro, and uh, Rexa, a new addition, I guess. Uh, replacing uh, the captain of the Orange Esports franchise for CSGO. Uh, that would be Buffy. And on the side of Standing Gaming, it's Easy, a uh, name that we've used to know from the DIV lineup. And of course, Johnny, who played for Cracker at the Orange. CSGO Hurry Blair uh, tournament and they play second and Donnie was among that lineup. So now it's bleeding up, having a little bit of left but they are fucking up four players inside the uh, B house. So maybe just waiting for the smoke to go down and uh, smoke to diminish and then they can get the flashes in. Get the trade. I'm getting a lot of glares on my screen so now there's only one inside that will be Reza in a good position to spray them while they come in but I don't think he's going to survive that long once they jump out of the edge. You can see from the other side still not much action they are taking their time because yeah, they don't spot Reza oh but Reza move nice spray through the cracks of the window and the I don't know the roof of the bombsite hut but that was nicely played get the spray down Clean and easier. Now this forces standing gaming to punch it through B. They get into carpet, but as I said, Reza is there. Reza gets one again. It's Terence to drop. Now easy answers back. But on the other side, it's actually Ayu and Baller having a fit. They're fighting each other, but Waru comes in to clean out the B bomb site. And it's easy all alone. Gets a bomb down, but I am in this one on one leaves uh, Baller out far. Well, easy inside the bomb site all alone. Cleaned up, finished off. Yeah, Baller was in a weird position there. I'm not too sure that is. Have to check again. But Baller was uh, seeing at the heaven, which not too sure. He should be somewhere near it to the mid side so that he can get those uh, helpful shots in. But in a weird, weird position. With that, it's Orange Esports to lead 3 0. We are in round number 4. Of course, this is the second map to the being stream And our first qualifier for the Bank UCS Open Tournament live at Orange Stadium. to go in half time sick and change okay. as I know one row again being aggressive so it's short pushes out through just to check things out under him though he will be meeting up with baller coming in from behind but they only have a P250s and a, only one CZ that's very very uh, anti-eco for them CZ has been the name of the game since ESL and now one row again Gets a frag, not Isa answers also, but he gets taken out. Gets a double first. Terence tried to jump and uh, finished off. Well, it looks like this handgun run is diminishing very, very far for the side, uh, for the side of Sand in. Yeah, they tried to AK up inside the D bomb side once they had guns. I heard Donnie scream. 
I, I heard Donnie squeal or something. So it's 4 0. I'm with uh, Imran, if you guys might know him from Team MVP. And we just watch the game and try to analyze as much as we can about what's going on between uh, Orange Esports and Stand in Gaming. Of course, as I reminded you guys, uh, they do have Donnie on the side, which is the, one of the players from the second place in, uh, for Harry Valley. Team Cracker, that is. Now again, Rings out aggressive up at top. He will jump up, but doesn't find anything. Ari already opens up with a kill. And mid is fairly clear for them. They're not meaning what, uh, they're not getting much done at mid for the standing set. But now Ariel is in. Her, I like this position. He's there, but uh, he has his uh, tunnels covered up by his friend who is near to him, near that short. So he is in a good position to be aggressive and kind of get a few couple of shots out also. But he's out here, exposes himself, and Baller gets a spray. And Ariel will get the shot. Terrence will fall. It's a four and three. Baller very low on his feet, but. So is Ariel, but the nade comes flying in and Baller gets taken out. It's back to a 4 and 2 and gain advantage in orange. He's that Ariel again coming up big. That's 4 frags for him. The quad just to show standing in gaming. You just chose the wrong map to screw with this. And that's an ace. Just while I was jumping, didn't think that he's gonna get the ace out of that. But standing in gaming, it looks like their morale has been diminished straight away in this 5 very, very wrecking rounds. And that will be one of the most uh, inefficient, unprofessional uh, admins ever riding in the console. And uh, he's outside, you guys might know him by, uh, by the name of Faction. Can you please tell Faction not to uh, be rude when there's sponsors watching? <laughs> so right now they're kind of stuck in cave. They want to uh, go out through, but Donnie is there, but he doesn't spot out Izzat, who's playing right close at the corner. But Terran comes flying out to get his spray. Finally, Izzat is finished off. But at the cost of Terrence's life. Oh, but Terrence with only 2 HP gets one down, but the nade comes flying in again. Terrence falls. Now uh, Apex is inside the bomb site in a good position to try and uh, get the kill on Heaven. But now it's a 2 on 2. They're in a good position to defend this. There is still, uh, I think, another. I guess it's a Rexa inside the window. I guess. Oh, nice shot from Rexa. Gets a shot. It's, standing, uh, it's uh, easy to drop. Now it's a 2 on 1. They're going to just flock and jump inside. Rexa doesn't spot him inside the, behind the barrel. Now finally, Ape comes out, sprays on Rexa. But the time is just too late. I think they do have the DK to finish the job. But nicely played by Ape. He just kind of hide inside the uh, behind the box. Rexa didn't check. Uh, they really, really thought that it was going to be cave. But again, if you plant at that side, it's not most of the time that it's going to be cave. It's usually a cave once you're in a one-on-one -on -one position, then you plant there and then go to cave, but... Yeah, in one on two, that's not the best of locations to be looking at, so Razor should have been more careful with that. But either way, Orange Esports are still leading. It's 6-0, and Orange Esports are ahead. I mean, again, I would like to remind you guys that on the fifth name for Orange Esports, Razor is actually standing in... I'm not too sure if he's standing in or is that a roster change, but... I'm pretty sure that was part of his slot that Razor is playing with right now. So it does change out our orange esports caliber a little bit, but it looks like Izzat has been taken out. Again, I'm getting problems pressing the, pressing the keyboard, my bad. Alright, Ballers gets answered by one row, and again, uh, one row is holding strong to that short. Nobody has passed him, uh, I think, for the last four rounds. I think somebody passed mid, just not over his baller, I guess, and that gun round which he came in to support late. But other than that, uh, that short has been a stronghold for orange esports. Again, guys, if you just tune in to the stream, just, uh, please let me know so that uh, if you have, there's any problems with this, I'll try to fix it as soon as I can. Ari gets a shot up on a castle, but not Donnie from the side. Yes, uh, I'm down, so he just balances things out a little bit, but I, uh, Ari is still in a good position to catch them out of guard. Waru will look up towards heaven, will get the one on top, goes for the spray on the one below. That is Ape with a very, very great life. And now he's going to get hunted running away. Let's see if Easy can get the flank row coming in from there. He might just get this on Ari. Nicely done. Gets a spray, goes for the second, one no to drop. But no, this is a good position for standing gaming suddenly. But oh, Rexa comes in from behind. Easy was just too low already because he just fought all the way from it into the bomb site. And now Ape in a one on one situation will try to get the bomb down. And with that, Rexa will try to advance closer. But he's waiting for Ape to be in. So Ape is sitting at 4 HP. And we'll get the spray. That's the problem though. He's sitting at 4 HP. Even if Ape gets a pop flash down. Uh, Rexa can just uh, if, if Rexa is not flashed totally before he comes out, he can get him with a uh, one bullet from uh, that thirty bullet spray. So either way, it is now six nil. 
Let me check the stream just to make sure that everybody is fine and dandy if... What really? Wait, let me check. Uh, can you see the stream again? Alright, okay, I'm gonna check the stream. If it sucks again, I'm gonna restart it after this. But we are streaming at the highest possible yeah quality there is. Oh, it is. It's actually being blurred. So I'm not too sure what that is about. But I try to fix it after this. I'm not too sure about that. I did not see that coming, so okay guys, I uh, do apologize for that. Must be something wrong with the uh, exploit system. But now it looks like, again, standing gaming with guns up, they tried to uh, come out towards cave, but easily get shut down by iron there. And Warren has actually rotated playing windows for this time around, in a good position to catch out those players under the tunnel. Now they're a bit lost for words, I guess. Sending gaming very, very quiet. They're trying to concentrate as much as they can to try and get this frag down. But it's just looking so weird right now. They can't get themselves inside the bone site. And all the shutdown for Orange this spot has been tremendously well. One row is in the same position as Rexa. He can't get the first guy to spray, but he will get the second though as Easy jumps down onto Van. Doesn't get the kill though. Easy does have support, so he has to be careful with this. Rexa is inside the smoke. It's a nice position to catch them off guard though. And Waru gets the spray onto the C4 guy. Gets the second onto Arya. And Rexa comes in to clean in Easy. Woo! Nicely played for Waru and Rexa. Just coming, flocking in from the sides. Both of them taking the uh, standing right to their faces so the challenge has been accepted and it's 8 nil. standing gaming I thought they could have done a little bit better since they had a few more chances in the first 4 or 5 rounds to get into the bomb side from Kiev and I don't know it just doesn't look like they're playing it as fast or as uh, mid intensive as I would like them to but right now they're gonna just gonna try and punch it through tunnels going down there is somebody inside the window to spot them out. I believe that is Arya, but now it looks like Easy has been taken out. The head of the snake. Donnie is left alone inside the connectors, but it looks like this round is going heavily in the way of Orange Esports. No first frags yet for standing gaming. It doesn't look like they're getting anything done. Oh, Donnie does get one though. But now from the side, it's Arya to swing and swing, 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 gets Donnie down. Now up all alone with the P250 standing under. Spot somebody on top of him, but it doesn't look like Wario will jump out. Wario is one of those very, very careful players who gets those corners down very, very nicely. And there it is, Ariel even comes in to step in and steal the kill. It's 9 0 for Orange Esports. Wow, wow, wow. They are so far ahead. This is something that I did not expect. Uh, with them having Reza as a send in, of course, uh, albeit Reza is one of the best players when, one point, when we had 1.6 earlier in Malaysia, but. It has been a while since I've seen Reza at this uh, at the stage as uh, this big uh, to be playing for Orange Esports, nonetheless. But right now they are nine 0 and it looks like the change up and their lineup seems to be working in their favor. But I am missing Puffy a little bit, so I do hope that he's gonna come back soon. But now, right now, the tech team of Ari and Wando has officially made sure that stand in is uh stand in's access into mid is totally denied. Now again. That's Donnie down at mid. The shutdown that is just so tremendously well set up. Now, I from the top, gets the spray down on Easy. They didn't spot him, but Baller gets Izzat down though. Izzat was not in a good position to get that off shot. And now Apex cleans up I Now it's a 3 on 3 with Baller very low on HP. Reza is going to come in from the connectors also. One Rook is there waiting for him. Can they work together and jump in? Right now they're still inside the bomb site but haven't gotten the plant yet but Terence yet as I said good position to get the spray onto the heaven guy but gets a second onto Reza now he's gonna just try to punch through and kill Ari with the spray Ari is on the left he has to come in very very soon he's on top of him he might get the spray he has to spray another time and Ari gets the shot holy crap that was nicely played for him he dodged this coming back out for the second time gets a shot and Terence was so close to getting standing gaming the first round of this half it was just 
at the edge of his fingertips was that was nicely done by Ari really really composed for the second shot kind of dot dot didn't change for the handgun really waited for the AWP even though Terrence was very very low but got the shot nonetheless and Sunny Gaming are now really really stuck on ideas of what to do they can't go through mid so they have been trying to build up at B and uh, with the cave but cave hasn't uh, been fruitful for them as I sprays Terrence down in through the smoke yeah it hasn't been fruitful for them and now this mid is just uh, totally out of the question see again they're going to try and, and come in through B I think they think that they have in their minds that they have uh, Red uh, spot figured out so they might want to just come in into the bomb site, get the smokes, and then the spray racer inside the bomb site. But and Luzo wants to turn back. Sam sees Sony, but Sony gets a shot first. With that desert eagle, uh huh. Back to four and four. It is still ten nil. Orange Esports very heavily the favorites to win this match right now. Of course, it is a very sticky sided map when it comes to Malaysians. I do not know why, but they just better at defensive uh, all the defensive plays and. Kinda that last thing with the flashes and, uh, sp uh, and smokes. Right now they have to jump through B house. Not much th things that they can do. Baller gets a shot on Reza and opens up the B bomb set for the plant. But Baller is, mm, I think he's sticking his friend. Not too sure what's happening there. Are really coming in very very slowly from the side. Doesn't spot anybody yet. Goes for the corner pick. Oh, but Izzy gets him down. Back to a 2 on 2. Ayim's gonna come in. But Izzy, but Izzy already gets 2 with the AWP. Sprays out Ape, but Ape will still survive. But again, Izzy comes in for the third. From the side, changes to the handgun. Finishes off Ape. What a nice retake though. Even though that they got Rexa down, as I said, they think they want, have wanted to come through B because it was a little bit of an easy task. Rexa's always playing inside the bomb site, right up the crates, so they can kind of smoke him out. And we come in from uh, jumping through, throughout the B house window, come down and flank it inside the bomb site. But yeah, Reza actually died at the sofa side. So because of that, he just kind of plant in through. Nobody kind of see it was uh, closer to the kitchen. And because of that, Isaac kind of had a very good angle to get the AWP in and kind of push through to the sides. But wow, that was a nicely played round from our Origin Spots for the retake. Yeah, this thing, I think the screen might be downscaling me for something, but I'm not too sure why. Wano again, taking care of that shot, and Ari, as I said, they're tech teaming up here, so that's, it's very hard for them to kind of uh, boost through up to balcony, but Ari jumps down through, tries to get the shot up on Easy, but Easy answers back, you've been a bad, bad boy. But now finally, Wano finishes him off, and Easy will regret the day that he jumped and fought Wano. Now, it looks like Donny jumped out with a C4. Actually, he kind of jumped out and in back into the castle, but now heavy, it's heavily the A bomb site is heavily guarded, and uh, Ape will get a very nice flash onto both players from Orange Esports, and the C4 will be planted. So at least you get the C4 plant now, but Donny, I'm not too sure, it's very, very low, and Rexa gets a uh, kill with the nade. Now, from the side, Wano comes spraying in, and Ape will fall. This is beginning to become a very, very quick and easy round for Orange Esports. I do not know why it's downscaling. This is some X split stuff that I have no power over. The gods that be just <laughs> want me to stream or something. I really want to try to fix it in half time, but yep. At the look of it now, you guys are not missing my since it's already 12 nil. And doesn't look like they have any answer. And he's in a good position to get the uh, Apex running out. And Apex didn't even have any flashes on his side to welcome him into the bomb site. It was just him running out and he was welcomed by the AWP on the other side instead. It's 5 on 4. And Izzy finally, good call from him, gets down and kills uh, Izzat. Not, not a place that Wano always jumps on, but Izzat actually tried to push through and gets taken down. Now Wano pushes out high mid, spots out Donnie, takes him out. And it, that shuts down the backup from the uh, B push, which is being led by Baller. And I cannot get the spray up already. I'm not too sure why he's spraying there. It's, not an easy place to try and get a kill. So he's turning instead? This is very strange. Oh, easy jumps out in front, gets a kill of Reza. So if you can't trust your friend, do it yourself. Now, Wano in the smoke, gets break down. A little bit too cocky for him. There was three players right in front of him. So now the retake is 
real for Izzat very tall task gets one sorry for Ari gets one up on baller but that will be it as easy fix the plant changes to the gun and finishes off Ari finally they get around to that side it's 12-1 and it's headed in gaming after waiting for 12 very gruesome rounds finally catch themselves a break with one round on the side Haim again closes down the castle push that's staring to fall. And now one row, aka one says <laughs> one. I, I like saying the real names. Now ball is in the smoke. Ari can't spot anyone yet, but ball actually jumped down to mid and that opens up Ari for the shot. That was not the best of movements for him, but this is against Orange Esports with a very, very strong uh, defensive posture in the first half. Ari again waiting for the shot. If Donny gets the timing done, oh, Donny actually spots him out, and Ari didn't see him. And uh, Ari reverses back, and Donny gets the shot. That was actually quite funny because Ari didn't see him earlier. Oh, but look at the shot from Izzat though. Catches on his feet. He will be running into the bomb set, but without his legs. Boy, oh boy, this is turning very hard for standing gaming. He just got one break in one round, and suddenly is back to advantage on Orange Esports for this round. Now Reza again in a good position to get the spray down, he doesn't get the first second and again he's just gonna turn back onto the edge and start spray down but Easy gets a kill first. And Ape, oh, nice straight in from him, comes in for the backup, Easy doesn't get the clip up on uh, Ape though, but now they are both stuck inside the bomb site. Two on two situation, Easy might get spotted by Easy. no, oh, but he passes through the box. He will be able to escape and comes in for the side but Easy too quick on his hands. He finally gets sprayed down by Apet, but Apet does not know that I am coming in from the side. I will see his head. He's just waiting for him. Gets a shot. And again, it's 13 to 1. Wow. Orange Esports are really on top of the game for today. Even though this is the first map, and uh, against only standing gaming, I would say that, of course, this, uh, this is one of these teams uh, where the lineup only changes every 3 to 4 weeks. No, I'm not using OBS, I'm using Split, and I'm pretty sure I maxed out everything but sometimes it gets rebooted because of the system because I'm not streaming at home and yeah, I would have fixed it if I knew what was going on because I, I've, used, I've used both uh, lots of times but for now, I'm not too sure what it is it's not scaling as it should and uh, it's I think it's over reading the system specs so I'm not too sure why I'll try to fix it after this or maybe increase the quality of it but right now, Baller has been taken out. Easy comes in from the tunnel, gets one, but he will not push through, and that is a good choice for him as Isaac is already waiting for him to come up. Now, still taking their time. I'm on the side. Will spot up this. Players coming in. It's Donny, Terrence, and up at win. Easy on the other side. So I guess you're gonna try and go for it and flank from uh, castles and mid instead. This is of course the last round for this first half. Let's see if Standing Gaming can clinch another round. Because if it's 14, it's just so hard for the next round for them. But okay, that's a good call. I bet guess one. Already opens up on one round, only gets another. That's a 4 or 2. They might just do this. Not through the smoke, they don't see anybody yet. As uh, Isaac gets spotted out, gets shot a little bit, but he gets one kill, but finally finished off by. Donny and it does look like this round might finally go in the way of a standing they will get to and uh, yep Rixa just <laughs> ran through and kinda get sprayed down okay guys I'll try to change the stream settings after this but yep previous has good team skills this disquality what the heck it's like you're saying that they're giving me 3000 to produce the show don't try to act smart come on Everybody's just trying to do their work. It's 13 to 2, standing gaming very far behind, but if, if they don't get this first round, I think it's all over because the CZs are not that good at this map unless you play at K for the CT side. But I don't think any anti eco is going to work for standing gaming.
the Reza just jumped down through the castle gets near into the bomb site but Ape is still there that's the problem one gets one is Donnie to fall Reza is still there doesn't spot Ape on the side yet Ape is in a good position to be defensive here just pulling out the shots onto Terence instead uh, Ape now finally gets flanked Wano again getting the second kill, goes for the third, it's Terence to fall, he's still standing strong, Baller gets taken out, that's four for him, what the heck, when Wano wants to go for the ace and he gets it, that's the second ace for the side for his esports, Wano one on the handgun on the AWP up on Ariel, that is nuts, they are really on top of the game. Wow, it's 14-12, I, 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 I'm, the thing is, it's not this one pick up the mistakes by standing in gaming, but the way that, uh, Orish Esports set, uh, set things up is they can treat up close and personal together two up front so when they get into the bomb site there's always somebody covering the small angle which is one way just not covering and getting this, both those uh, players behind the bomb sites down and as I said if they do lose this uh, the Sengar now it's, it's pretty much over for the side of uh, Sandy Gaming Bonner gonna push through up high mid and get second out it's easy to finish him off it's a 4 on 4 with Two Galils and a one AK on the side of Orange Esports. Donny gets one nice easy shot from him. Now, from the side, Wano is going to try and come in, spring him down, and he gets it. But back to a 3 on 3 with Wano very, very low on HP. And Ape all tries to shoot through this ball, but Ariel saw the edge of his head. That was not a. Uh, well, that was a good timing for him to come out, but just a little bit out too outside of the smoke range. And now, easy coming in from the sides, and uh, Wano will just spring him first. Goes in for the second, it's starting to drop. It is match point for Orange Esports. They are very, very close uh, to reaching uh, towards set finals. I guess another game away after this. And after that, we will be following the losers bracket, for the lower brackets for a while, just to find the teams that has been uh, that has been. I'm reading the blah blah blah. blah. Okay, my bad. Forgot what I was saying because I was checking something out. Alright, so again, now they, ha they have no guns on their side. They are coming out, and orange are coming out from the castle and the uh, cave. And with the smokes out, those handguns are very, very last because they have to get up close and personal. But Ariel gets out one. Easy actually TKs his friend. Baller will take a fall. It's 2 on 5. It does look like GG, folks. No need with an AK, but that's already the last round. He does have the HP to do the work, does have the vest, but it's a 1 on 4. This is not exactly the best position for him to be in also to clutch. If he was CT, I would rather him be from castle. Maybe get some advantage, gets one shot. He's easy to drop. Goes for a second. He does know that somebody is there, but he has to check so deep inside. And then he gets knife. Ari gets one slash down. I miss waiting. Everybody's waiting him for the knife. And it looks like Donnie has given up. <laughs> yep. The time has run down. There was just nothing that he could do. It's 16 to 2. Orange Esports takes it home. Clean and easy, and they will advance towards the uh, semi-finals after this. And uh, we will be joining the lower bracket rounds uh, when we return. And again, thanks for joining us for the BenQ CSGO Open Tournament. I'll try to fix the stream as much as I can, but against the CX split and uh, we're uh, doing this in a cyber cafe, the, sometimes the system doesn't tell you. I do it at home and there's no problems. I do it at KLCC and there's no problem because you bring different PCs. So sometimes the server makes wrong. I have no idea what's wrong now. I'll try to fix it as soon as I can. Believe me, I want it to be the best ever stream in the world because I'm just one of those guys who wants to be cocky, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Okay guys, we're gonna return for the Venky CSGO Open Tournament with the next games after this. Again, thanks for joining us. If you are free, do drop by the, uh, to the Orange Esports Stadium. We are in Prima Star Park. So if you guys are free, do drop by. And again, there are two more qualifiers after this. So don't fret, there are more games coming up in the weeks to follow. So again, stick around, we'll be right back.